Well, welcome back to the Rags to Robots challenge. We are picking up right where we left off because I wanted to see, and yes, fantastic, I wanted to see if I still had my relationships intact and if I still had my family tree intact. And thank God I do. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means that I can go back to Legacy Island or not, but um, we'll find out, we'll find out, maybe I can, oh come on, fucking paparazzi, they keep, I mean apparently I'm getting more famous by being stinky and digging through trash, but how many are there as well, why are there two of them, let's go see if there's anybody home, because now this should be be, this should count as a proper thing, right? So, there should be firefighters around. They should spawn now. Maybe not. But no, if there's no firefighters around, the only way that I would let her be, um, that I would let her take advantage of the fireplace, um, fireplace? Whatever, <laughs> you know what I mean, the the fire station is what I meant, um, is if we meet a firefighter and we, um, and we befriend the firefighter, that is the only way that I would be like, uh, yeah, okay, I'm, I can stay here because my friend lets me. My friend knows my struggles right now, and they let me. Do, uh, one thing that I do want to do, though, is um, give you a makeover, because while the, that outfit is not bad, it doesn't really suit you, and also the hair that you have is not really what I want, and also I want to make you a teenager again and we're back she's a teenager again and she has the same clothes and hair that she had at the beginning of the series oh I found a bed that is fantastic so yes let's go home she's not gonna go to school obviously it it will tell her to go to school but I'm not gonna I feel like that's a given. We are just squatting in this empty storage area, I guess, which is against the rules. I realize that Rags to Riches rules uh, say that you need to have a empty lot, completely empty lot. But I, eh, you know. <laughs> oh, lull lullaby bed. Okay. So, I have a lot more things than I thought. Uh, I found them dumpster diving. A few of these I found at the dump. So, I don't... Oh, oh, I can't sell it? Why is that? I can sell this one. And I think I will. Um... Dresser, I don't need, but I can't sell it either. I think I need to restore it somehow. That's the savannah. I can't sell this either, but maybe I can use it. This I can sell. It's in pristine conditions, so that's a lot of money, actually. Table the bistro. Sell that as well. I mean, for now, we need to sell anything that we can. So, this we can't sell. Uh, so, let's put it somewhere. So, what exactly is the problem? Oh, replace. But I can still sit. I can still sit in it. And I can still. No, I can't use that one. I need to replace it. But uh, yeah, go ahead and sleep throw up all oh, right because we went dumpster diving that makes sense <laughs> uh, but yeah this place is awful which is why I even though this is against the rules this is why I 
um, I don't mind breaking this rule. All right, so with the newfound money that we got, we are just grabbing a bite at the diner. Very stinky. We were so lucky to find this bed because I wouldn't have bought it. Even if I sold all of the money, I wouldn't have bought the bed. Uh, but since we found it, I feel that is fair game. Because if I were to buy anything, I would buy the, the shower first. Because that's something that we need real bad. Because again, the only place that I can shower is the fire station. But the school bus for Aurora will come in about an hour. How does the school bus even know that I exist? But yeah, no, I'm not gonna go, obviously. Let's invent. Uh, there are more things, more scraps to be caught here. Ooh, and I can salvage that chair. Don't mind if I do. I can't believe how smoothly the game is running. Like, you might see it stutter and see that smooth for you. Yes, it is. It is actually. <laughs> it actually is smooth for me. I'm so used to Legacy Island having animations be so slow and go so weirdly and everything lags so much that this, this is fantastic. For, for me, this is the best. The fact that she hasn't slowed down her animation at all, that's a win for me. Oh no. Whoops, we do want to discover a new invention, but uh, we'll leave that for another day. So, if we go in the swimming pool, our hygiene does not go up. That makes sense, but I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to try it. The gym, of course. Yes, the gym will be a great place to shower. I'll just pretend, well, I mean, right now I'm electrocuted, I'm basically naked, uh, but I'll pretend, I'll sneak in for now, and if there's people, I'll pretend I'm just, you know, going to the gym, although I probably need uh, um, a pass for it, but right now we're just sneaking in, oh, that's probably the, the men's, so let's go in here, yeah, there we go. We're sneaking in, but we're respecting <laughs> the the bathroom doors that, you know, we're respecting the, the drawing on the bathroom door. We want to buy so many things. Uh, I don't think we will learn the science skill. I don't think we want to do that. But all of the rest, yeah, we want to buy a stove. We want to buy a fridge. Eventually we will. I just wanted to have, I just want to have something to do before then. It feels too easy, especially as I dumpster dive and I find things. Um, what what was that? What why what? Just like that. She didn't even go to the actual machine yet. <laughs> How did she get the first? leveling that's weird but i want to have something to do before we can start you know buying things because it it's weird right it's not like you can buy a shower and bring it to a, a place you're squatting in i guess either we find it dumpster diving or i don't know we invent it because i'm thinking i'm also a teenager how can I just go ahead and buy a shower or a stove? Who will sell me those things without being alarmed? Without alerting the authorities? Is the place deserted now that I think about it? I haven't seen a single sim that isn't a paparazzi. So, is it because there's just no people here? Like, of course I was saying, oh, thank God, nobody's here so I can sneak in. Of course nobody was there. Nobody would be there if, you know, nobody exists. 
Okay, it plays the Blob family, which is just a sim. I think she's a vampire that my uh, my niece made uh, and her cat. So I placed her down here. Then this is the Logstone. It's a randomly generated sim that I made for another save uh, just to explore another world that I downloaded. I'll just place all of these, all of these. Oh, this is Randall, which, fun fact, this is Chemer. This is actually Chemer uh, before I actually decided on a proper name for him because Randall was randomly generated name for him that I didn't really like. But then I have the Kaufmans with which I, they're also randomly generated sims, but I really like them because I have I've made them to explore another world, yet another world, uh, that is based on New York. And that world is fantastic, but it is mainly shells. Whereas now they're in Burrowsburg, which is based on a burg on, of New York. It makes sense that they would have moved from one neighborhood to another, but still in, in New York. And there we go, I placed every single family or sim that is in the sim bin, so hopefully now the town will actually feel lived in. Let's go to the festival, let's roll a die, and um, I'm gonna say... Alright, let's go with Kinsey Scale rules. So, in case you don't know the Kinsey Scale, it is a scale that goes from 0 to 6, indicating your... Um, homosexual tendencies so zero means you're fully heterosexual six means you're fully homosexual and it doesn't account for any other kind of sexualities uh, outside of that spectrum like for example asexuality doesn't have uh, it isn't the best scale but it is good for what we need right now so i'm gonna roll at the eight and if I get an 8, it means that she's asexual. She doesn't have any, any... And by asexual, in this case, I'm gonna also mean aromantic. Uh, so she doesn't have any interest in any kind of re relationship, romantic relationship. But uh, there's no zero on the die, of course. So uh, I'm gonna say that if I get a one, fully heterosexual. If I get a seven, is fully homosexual, or in this case, lesbian. So that's an eight. <laughs> She's asexual, and uh, that actually kind of makes sense. But sexuality is fluid, so. Maybe something will happen that makes her change her mind. Of course, by changing her mind, I don't actually mean that she decides not to be asexual anymore, because that's not how it works. But sexuality is fluid, so maybe she'll realize that she actually kind of likes somebody or something like that. Maybe she's demisexual, who knows? So all of that was to see if she would partake, let's say, in one of these uh, kissing boots. Sayori, that's right, that's what my niece called her. Okay, so this is my niece's vampire sim. And she's also a teenager now that I think about it, so that's nice. Oh, it's raining though. But let's salvage that. And that. And that? What is that? Is that a money making machine? Oh ho ho, I might have fun with that. Okay, this is coming along. <laughs> like, I'm just getting stuff here. Uh, this is another dresser that we need to renovate before we can sell. Um. And this, it, oh, the fortune factory fortune cookie maker. Okay, it's not, I thought it was something else. But let's repair that. I am curious to see what that does. And this one we can put here. 
this one 515 but if I renovate it it is still 515 so why would I want to is my question <laughs> if there was a way to renovate it and fix it without actually spending as much money like I'm, I understand spending money on it to to fix it, but but this is the way I'm thinking. Maybe uh, we find a fridge or a shower or stuff like that to put here. Is the only way that I would buy things is find it and fix it like this. Uh oh, Aurora seems like she is going to be a bit snippy today. Be prepared for some more rebellious behavior from her. When is she gonna invent anything? Come on, it's been ages now. She's on level 3? 4? Almost level 4, I think. Well, midway there. But, like, halfway there. But... Oh, she invented something! The tentacle wind up? So that's just a, a thing. It doesn't really do anything, right? And there we go. Aurora has just improved their inventing skill to level 4. And she wants to skip school. We have been doing that. <laughs> I just paid for the bills I uh, earlier. I did it um, while she was inventing stuff. And the way I'm explaining the bills is the taxi. So um i would say that the taxi uh, each time you take the taxi that would be like 10 simoleons maybe so i paid something like 52 and we only took the taxi a few times so i feel like that makes sense to me we want to pull a prank oh what should we pull a prank on let's meet becky baker she she looks cool and i'm sure that Aurora, Aurora's celebrity level is high enough to have gotten in with celebrity Becky Baker. Now they can socialize with each other. Yeah, she's also a one star celebrity. Pleasure to meet someone who is famous like me. Yeah. So, uh, I do just want to, you know, chat. Oh, oh, and we want to pull a prank since nobody was at the park, but people are here. Let's pull a prank on, set trap for, um, wait, actually, um, not there, because I would like to pull a prank on the, the paparazzi guy, but, oh, here, set trap for Sean Blanco, especially because both Becky and I are being harassed by the paparazzi. Well, not harassed, but you know, it's annoying. So I can see them right now planning, or at least Aurora is planning, saying, Not this guy. Don't worry, I'll take care of him. Here she goes. I love this mod because it does the cinematics for me. <laughs> Incredible. Love that. Uh, but yeah, in case you don't know this mod, this mod is basically a third person. Um, it does a third person perspective and you can actually control the scene as if think GTA. So you can actually use WASD controls to move your sim. But it is really nice for things like I've just done. It does the all of the camera changes for you. And uh, yeah, she wanted to do a basic workout right now. So yeah. Thank goodness Aurora's mood swing is finally over. I don't know why she's insisting on learning the science skill. I'm gonna say no again, but if she gets the wish a third time, I'm gonna just promise that. She seems to be wanting that a lot. She wants to learn boat building, 
which yes it is something that i want her to want to do but it's early still i want her to learn both building after we make the sim bot when we're done with the inventing skill all right and since nobody's here yet let's keep dumpster diving one more time um and see what we can find we'll only do it if there's nobody around wants to learn the logic skill nah what's that a lamp reverse okay actually we don't have any lamps so that that is good it is raining again god damn it so i can't really go and invent uh stuff but we can so oh there's a bunch of things <gasps> and a grill fantastic that is fantastic news we can replace this for 300 and finally we have a grill but no fridge still so i guess we can't actually use it oh it stopped raining and <gasps> Is that a washing machine? It is a washing machine. Come here. Come over here and salvage that washing machine. I think the bakers here just... I think the bakers just threw it away and I'm just getting it in front of them. But yeah. That's fantastic. Let's invent... All right, we got to level 5. With the basics of inventing under her belt, there's now a chance that Aurora will make improved versions of existing widgets. Improved widgets have bells and whistles that make them vo more valuable. Nice. And uh, Aurora is getting a lot of positive looks from her recent activities. People seem to be whispering Aurora's name. Keep up the good work. Now a notable figure. Where, wasn't she already a notable figure? We got a plain pad and pen set. Sure, I mean... Don't know why you would take it. And... Utensils. Alright. Decoration. Alright, something's starting to feel a bit ill. No! Alright, well, we're gonna have to stay at home for a while. Because... I guess dumpster diving is not really that good for your health. <laughs> A public service announcement. Dumpster diving turns out it's not that good. I'm starting to realize just how lucky I was to have found this bed in the dumpster. Because lately I've only been finding stuff like like a phone or that decoration like pen and paper the kitchen utensils you know just small stuff like this or a chair like it you know it's nothing big and yeah uh, i'm starting to realize wait wait actually that bed was actually a stroke of of luck this has been the longest two sim days of my life <laughs> and uh, we're still not done yet. I'm making her sleep so much more than she needs. It doesn't make it go faster, but um, like it makes it go faster as in, you know, it time goes faster when, when all of your sims are sleeping, but it doesn't make this go down faster. So we are still 40, 40 minutes away, um, but as soon as she's done, I'm gonna wake her up. She's gonna want to go, well, first of all, we're gonna go to the gym to do all that we need to do, to eat, uh, pee, and get a shower. There we go. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Even more bookcases? Sure. I don't know what happens if I don't salvage these things. Will they stay there? Because the, the thing is, I'm salvaging these things so that there's space to get more, you know? Um, to, for more, for other things to spawn. But I don't know if, if I don't salvage, will they just despawn, maybe? So... Maybe I don't have to salvage them, but whatever, it's fine. 
Um, I do like that we're a hoarder. <laughs> a stove! Incredible! I don't know what it is with tables. To, they can never be salvaged. Whatever. Just delete it. It's I don't know what it is. It's the second time that there's been a table to salvage. And she just won't. It's weird. But let's go ahead and invent stuff. Aurora's increasing demand for scrap requires strong measures and she has learned how to detonate objects like junk piles, furniture and appliances for additional scrap. That is fantastic news. So that's what we are gonna do with the, all of the extra wardrobes that we don't want. So can we detonate this? No, because we already salvaged it. So we need to detonate it before salvaging it. Oh my god, that is adorable. <laughs> the whale toy. That is fantastic. I don't know why this globe sculpture is here in my actual inventory, not the um, family inventory. That's weird. We want to go to the library, learn how to paint. Hopefully there is an easel at the library. If not, though, we also want to learn the science skill. I've been deleting this wish for a while now, but it keeps reappearing, so she's really adamant that she wants to learn the science skill. So we're gonna go to the library next episode and just have her study some science, some biology or something, I don't know.